welcome back to my channel. So it's March and it means it is officially the start of summer season. And I'm pretty sure that most of you is planning and wanting to go on a beach vacation. But safety first everyone. Make sure to follow all the protocols and safety measures in traveling. Anyways, I am very very excited for this vlog because in today's vlog, I'm going to flip my old dress into a must-have summer outfit. I noticed that tire dress, ruffle tire dress, or what they call small dress is so fast to get sold out online, especially in my size. So I thought, why not make my own? And that's what we are going to make today. So without further ado, let's start flipping. Things first, I want to have a clean canvas since we're gonna be making another dress from another dress. I'm going to cut the top part of the dress and the side section, one side section of the dress to have an opening. Next is I'm going to get my bust circumference. It is a measurement on this area all the way to the back. Then I'm going to divide it by two. Next is to get the length measurement of the top and I'm just going to use this white tube top as my base in getting the length measurement of the top of the dress. Just make sure that everything is even and laid out in place before you lay your base or your guide. Since this fabric is kind of sheer, so I have to add another layer of fabric underneath it. And right now, I'm just going to trace this pattern onto that fabric. that our four patterns are ready we will now create an angle on this part of the top to create a space or a deep effect between our armpits and the dress so after pinning down everything we just need to fold it once When you fold it, you get 8 inch and the center would be 4 and you have to mark that. And then from right here, I'm going to measure 2 inch down. And then we're just going to connect both marks together. And then we're going to cut that line. Make sure that everything is even and that everything is in place nicely. So this is how it should look like. This is the angle that we want to achieve and this is the straight part of the top. So the next step would be the making of the ribbon strap. So first is to get your desired length for your strap on how long you wanted it to be. Since I want my strap to be longer, I decided to go up higher to 15 inch. Since we already have our length measurement for our strap, we will now move to how wide we want our strap to be. So for me, I don't want a strap that is too wide but not too narrow as well. So I decided to measure 1.5 inch for the width of my strap. What I usually do is I multiply it by 2 and then fold it once and then saw the edges of the strap. So we will be needing 4 straps for this dress. 
we're done with the four straps that we will be needing on this dress so now go get your sticks or anything that you can push the fabric in to flip the straps on this process i'm going to be using a stick to push the fabric and flipping the strap this strap has to end the one that we closed earlier and the one that has an opening so we will be using our stick and pushing the closed side of the strap inward to flip the strap so we're done with the four straps that we will be needing on this dress and i decided not to iron them because i love how it has wrinkled effects i think it's so unique and it's very flattering as well and unlike any other top na flat lang sobrang iron finish talaga so para may iba naman on this step you have to begin inserting the straps into the first pattern and interfacing lay the first pattern right side facing up then grab two of your straps place the raw edge where the angle begins to go down then grab the other fabric right side facing down so once we flip it over you'll have all the good sides facing out and you won't see sewing lines and it will just be clean finish and we're going to saw starting from this point all the way to the top until the end of the other side Once we have sewn all the top part of the first pattern, we can now grab the straps and this is how your top should look like. We're done with all the patterns. Now you can decide which pattern you want on the front part and on the back part. <laughs> Now you can decide which pattern you want for your front part and for your back part. Grab the pattern that you want for your back part, lay that down, right side facing up. And then grab the pattern that you want for your front part, lay that down, right side facing down. And then we're just going to pin the side part of the top and sew one line down on each side. After you've sewn all the side sections, you now have a very cute little crop top. Of course, don't forget to try it on in case you have something you want to adjust on the top. But for me, I think it's pretty good. First is to get your desired length for your dress and as for me, I'm going to start from the edge of the top all the way down to 18 inches. Then I'm going to add 1 inch on every tire for the seam allowance. So if the length that I need to add on to is 18 inches, I'm just going to basically add 3 inches to that. So the overall length measurement will be 21 inches. Then divide it by 3 which is 7 inch and that would be the cutting height for each of the tires. Once we figure that out or should I say once we solve that measurement problem, we will now cut 3 tires with a height of 7 inch. And then I'm just going to cut two fabrics for the front and back part of the dress. Now we are going to gather these tires and attach one tire to the top and continue doing it until you completely attach every tires.
almost done with the dress. Since this fabric is sheer, I'm just going to add another layer of fabric for the linings. And after that, we're all done!